So dear learners, uh, in this particular uh, uh, video, we will be discussing about the code of ethics uh, defined by IEEE standard. Okay. So in the previous video, uh, even we started with discussing uh, the ethical and uh, professional responsibilities. Uh, under that, uh, we discussed around uh, four different points. Uh, the very first one was uh, confidentiality, second one is competence and third one is uh, intellectual property rights and computer misuse. So those are the uh, general way of defining uh, the ethical and professional responsibilities. So with respect to IEEE standard is concerned, so it has defined uh, around eight different uh, co um, code of ethics. So that we are going to discuss in this particular uh, video. So the code contains uh, eight principles related to the behavior of and decisions made by professional software uh, engineers, um, not only for software engineers, including uh, the practitioners, educators, uh, uh, and managers, supervisors, policy makers, as well as uh, uh, trainees and students of the profession. Means uh, directly or indirectly, uh, every stakeholder uh, who is uh, uh, related to this particular software engineering uh, uh, field, uh, these code of ethics are uh, applicable. Even uh, uh, right now, we are all the students who are all learning the software engineering. For uh, you people also, so that this code of ethics will be applicable and as if as a teacher for me also this will be what uh, applicable okay so just in a brief way we will uh, look into this uh, code of ethics uh, one by one so let's discuss with first one the first one is what uh, the public the meaning here is uh, uh, the software engineers shall act consistently with the public interest always do remember so being a software engineer my first and foremost uh, um, focus should be towards what the public interest so whatever the work that I am carrying out as a software engineer I should keep it in mind saying that okay my work should always helpful for the public then the second one is client and employer the meaning is software engineers shall act in a manner that is in the best interest of their client and employer consistent with the public interest once again okay so here once again being a software engineer i should work honestly uh, for the employer for with whom i am working and also the client for whom i am developing my software so this, this, this is what the meaning of this particular uh, code of ethics is it clear and also keeping the point in mind in in in, my, in our mind saying that it should be with what public uh, uh, interest okay and the third one is product uh, software engineers shall ensure that uh, their products and related modifications meet the highest professional standards possible see always uh, being a software engineer as a part of a development team so i should ensure that whatever the software product that we are developing it should be of high quality with high professional standards that should be applicable means we that that should be incorporated for my software product so that we need to keep it in our mind and we need to work towards in that particular path okay then the fourth one is a uh, judgment means uh, software engineers shall maintain integrity and independence in their professional judgment so as a software engineer in my profession uh, it's my responsibility to take my own decisions is it clear and every time uh, while working on any project it is my responsibility to maintain that integrity and always i should take uh, the judgment or any kind of decisions on my own that independence should be there always i should not be dependent on somebody else or i should not behave as if uh, somebody is what uh, controlling me that that should not happen always i should be independent okay i should be capable of taking my own judgment and what uh, decisions so that is what required for every software engineer then the next one is management that is software engineering managers and leaders shall subscribe to and promote an ethical approach to the management of software development and what maintenance see there uh, the code of ethics is not only applicable for a software engineer even for the higher authorities like uh, uh, the managers or leaders at the management level, they should also sincerely try to promote 
the ethical approach at the management level okay and especially in case of what the software development and its maintenance okay so it is their job also then the sixth one is profession software engineers shall advance the integrity and reputation of the profession consistent with the public interest this is very important so anyway in our society we have already told there are there are so many different kind of professions are there okay and in the society we need to have, have to keep a kind of respect on our uh, uh, profession that that's very much uh, essential okay and that integrity reputation of the profession uh, that we need to keep along with keeping in our mind that public interest so this, this is very important otherwise what happens the if, if, that irresponsibility shown by any of uh, the software engineers in our profession uh, will lead to a kind of bad impression on the profession that should not happen in in this case okay then seventh one is colleague that is software engineers shall be fair to and supportive of their colleagues this is very important see there especially in our software engineering is concerned whenever i'll be working on any project it is if the project is not done by a single person there are so many teams will be there it's a group of what the employees when i am working under a team okay so it is my responsibility to uh, cooperate and support all my colleagues then only it is possible to bring out a quality work otherwise it's not possible okay so that is why always working in a team with cooperative nature and supportive nature is always required for every software engineer with their colleagues okay then the last one is self that is software engineers shall participate in lifelong learning regarding the practice of their profession and shall promote an ethical approach to the practice of the profession see always uh, the self in the sense what the self respect okay uh self improvement or self upgradation self responsibility so everything that i need to follow here okay so being a software engineer i should never feel that as this is the end of my learning see learning should be always what lifelong so i should go on improving myself i should go on learning something new that is what required because it is very much essential in my profession to improve my knowledge improve my skill set is clear and also the ethical approach uh, in my practice of the profession that we need to what adopt always see being an individual person i should have a self respect okay when i am going to have my self respect on my own profession then the society society will start giving what the respect so uh, to work that we need to what work so these are the eight different uh, code of ethics which have been defined by the uh, ieee okay please uh, try to remember and uh, go through all these uh, uh, eight code of ethics okay thank you